Okay, take number two, yay, I'm live this time. All right, Dr. Julie, uh, Dr. Julie Stein Hour to my patients. And I have a great success story that I wanna to talk to you guys about. Uh, we have a patient who is visiting us from Argentina. And so she flew into the United States back in December. Um, and has been being seen by, by our clinic and my awesome um, vision therapy staff. And so a couple of things to report on her. I'm pulling through papers here so I can show you guys. All right, so this was um, our very first, what we call VO star. Okay, you can kind of see there's a whole lot of stuff happening here in the center, which is a lot of visual confusion, a lot of open-ended things here. It doesn't look, if you take this all out of the way, it doesn't necessarily look real symmetrical. Okay, um, when we first saw this patient in our clinic, um, she's amblyopic in her left eye, but she also has Duane syndrome. And on Duane syndrome, usually there is one eye that won't it's kind of like fixed or fro not really frozen in one spot, but it won't move into one area. So for her, um, even if she tries to look to the right, her left eye would not look to the right. It stays kind of fixed in the straight ahead position. Now she has the ability to move all the way over to the sides, but she can't follow to her right side with that eye. And so she was 2050 in her amblyopic eye when she first started with us. Our very first appointment date with her was December the 28th, right after Christmas. And um, we got started with photosyntonics or light therapy. Um, that's something that's a really big integral part of my therapy program and it's phenomenal. Um, and uh, we also started doing vision therapy with her and since she's living here in the States for you know a specified amount of time, we're seeing her um, about four days a week for an hour to an hour and a half at a time and she's working super, super hard on her off time when she's not with us to get her best results. And so she is amazing. She's making some of her own equipment in the um, you know, hotel room that she's staying at. Um, she's just phenomenal. She totally blows my mind. And I'm gonna show you then her progress from today's visit. Okay, so she has Duane's and amblyopia. But then this is her star pattern from today. And you'll notice how this is looking a lot more symmetrical. If we take out the center part, see how much more symmetry we have on that one. Where before, if we pull this one back in here, it's not quite as symmetrical if we can pull out this middle part in here, kind of like that. One side looks completely different than the other. So we're getting better visual organization and um, better two eye coordinated movement. This patient has always seen double. Um, she can hold her head in a particular position where when she's looking to her left, because this eye doesn't want to move over this way, when she's looking this direction, um, she also has outward eye turns that alternate between her two eyes. So there's a lot happening with her, but when she turns her head this particular direction, she can line things up kind of, sort of, and get less of her double vision. Well, we've been working super, super hard with her. And like I said, when she first came to our clinic, she was sighted as 2050 in this eye. And today, um, just barely over a month, because December 28th was our first meeting, so we're a little bit past that here, um, on February the 6th. But today, she's seeing 2020 in her left eye. She still has to work at it. So if you know individuals who have Duane syndrome or amblyopia, then tag them in this video. It's definitely a must see. 
especially if they've been told before that there's really nothing that can be done to help them. Um, even eye turns or strabismus because we are working that, through that with her as well. Um, but there's so much going on with this individual. But what we're experiencing is now 2020 eyesight with some effort. So we're going to see that that comes along easier for her um, just in the next couple of weeks to where she's not having to really stop hard and concentrate to see that, but that she can just get it real easily and automatically. Um, so we want to see that happen. The other thing though that we're noticing is that this eye that whenever we are supposed to be tracking to our right side and in Duane syndrome it stays kind of fixed and won't track over. We're noticing that that, tra that left eye has the ability to track over about 70 degrees, which it was not able to do at all before. And now we're working super hard to get her to be able to do not only that even more to the right side, but also to coordinate the two eyes together at the same time. It's still kind of disjointed movement, which is what happens with Duane syndrome. So there's a lot happening with this patient. It's super, super exciting. She has areas of single vision for the first time that she's ever been able to get in like central gaze, which is kind of considered be right here as opposed to her like left area gaze, it's now kind of like more central so that she can not experience double vision in that area. In times that she forgets to turn her head and so she has her head positioned in the straight ahead position, which is so amazing that she forgets sometimes to turn her head that she's been doing this for years um, as a result of her amblyopia and um, also Duane syndrome. So there's so much good stuff going on. Again, um, Dr. Julie Steinauer, also known as Dr. Julie to my patients, um, we have a specialty vision clinic here with Vision for Life where we're working on it vision problems that affect our ability to read, learn, perform in the classroom, maybe perform on a job, just everyday life maybe performance. Um, so many things, maybe it's cosmetic, you know, maybe some people say like I want to get this better because you know I don't like the fact that one of my eyes turn. Um, and we are working with all of these individuals, patients, um, from infancy all the way up through adulthood. There's not an age range that we kind of are sort of turning away, you know, and saying no to. We're working with any age range. Um, so obviously you can pay attention to our thread here. Tag someone if you know someone who has amblyopia or Duane's. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can read success stories. You're going to be here tons, tons more about this particular patient as we're moving along and we're getting her to the point where she's getting some good two-eyed movement, um, some unison movement, which is like um, the ability to cross and converge our eyes and take them out together and hold and maintain single images. Just some awesome stuff. I'm super, super excited about it. And uh, if you guys have comments or you have questions, just drop it down in the section below and uh, pass this on if you think that it would be helpful for someone else to see it. All right. Thanks so much for joining in today. Be awesome. See ya.